Hello everybody, AVT here, and today we're going to be talking about what I mentioned in a previous video, 35 suits. So I am on my armor smith, and as you can see right out in front of me, I am no my house is incredibly disorganized, but that's okay. It works for me. I have all these backpacks with first, second, and third order power bits inside of them. And a power bit is just this right here. And you can see that they have different different orders of magnitude. And I'll talk about the significance of that in a moment. But let's start off with this. What is a power bit? How do we get it? So we're going to run over into this room. Yes, this is probably going to be an assault on some people's eyes, but that is okay. So this is a two-statted item. I actually don't want to use that. For example, let's pick up something else. Also a two-statted item. This is going incredibly well. Again. There we go, a one-statted item. So what you're going to need to get started is some piece of armor or clothing that has a stat on it, and you're going to need a reverse engineering tool. You're going to be looking one with, for one with an experimentation bonus of 10, and you're going to want as much luck as you can possibly get your hands on. Typically, you'll also want like an armor, weapon, and clothing power-up that has reverse engineering chance in it. But because I'm just going to be demonstrating how this works, since I already have my 35s made, I'm not too concerned about it. But the first step is you're going to take this piece of armor, put it in your tool, and you're going to hit reverse engineer. And it's going to give you a power bit. This one says plus 22. And what that translates to is plus 22 of a certain stat if you were to put a modifier on it. So how do we get a modifier? That's going to be a modifier bit. And that's where our junk loot comes into play. So if I put this rocket dud and a power converter in here, and I reverse engineer it once, I get a precision modifier bit. And it's all these different combinations of junk loot that are going to give you these different modifier bits. And then if I were to take this modifier bit and this power bit and combine them, it would give me an armor attachment. I could then take that armor attachment, put it on a piece of armor with a socket, and when you're grinding up these 35s, you're going to be looking for a junk piece of armor that you don't care about. So typically you'll have built them in a factory crate. You're going to reverse engineer that, and it's slowly going to work the power bit up until you get to the maximum, which, oops, that pack is empty, is 35. And then you've also got this thing called first, second, and third order. And I'll demonstrate that here in just a moment as I create a power bit. So I also talked about this very briefly the other day as well. I'm just looking at all the wrong containers today. I put them in here. These right here are exotics. So I have healing potency, an exotic stat, block chance, an exotic stat, and heavy weapon damage, an exotic stat. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an exotic 35. So as I talked about in a previous video, you are allowed to have three exotics per geared character. You get one on your shirt, you get one on your weapon, and you get one on your chest piece. Your shirt needs to be created, the attachment needs to be created by a domestics trader. Your chest piece needs to be created by an armor smith, which is a munitions trader. And then your weapon attachment needs to be crafted by an engineering trader, which is the droid engineer. So what I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna be able to make the exotic chest piece. And I will show you how that's done right now. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take these out of here. I'm gonna put this 22 power bit away just so I don't accidentally mix it up and ruin what I'm doing here. But I'm gonna open up my reverse engineering tool. And since I have an extra second order bit, it's not really going to matter, but I'm gonna start with a second order bit and I'm gonna put healing potency in here. And then what I'm going to do is say, create skill enhancing attachment. And you're gonna get this panel looking thing here. And as you can see, it has healing potency four on it. I'm then going to take that, put it back into my RE tool. I'm going to take my second order bit, make sure it's not the third order bit. And I'm going to take an additional stat, which is my block chance. And I'm going to create a skill enhancing attachment again. And now if I look at it, it has four healing potency and eight block chance on it. And so I'm going to repeat the process one more time. Take it, put it in your tool, take heavy weapon damage, take my 35 third order bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and create skill enhancing attachment. And now, as you can see, it has all three stats. It has block chance, 
heavy weapon damage, and healing potency. So that's going to be the exotic modifier bit that you can create as, a, as an armor smith. Now, I'm also going to need to create the remainder of the 35s I need for my standard armor. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to need to make nine more 35s with standard stats on them. And that's going to be stats that you see here. Strength, constitution, stamina, precision, agility, and luck. Your exotics can contain stats listed elsewhere. So you've got block, dodge, evasion, parry, critical chance, so on and so forth. All of these additional stats here are going to be considered exotics. So since I'm making this suit for my commando, I'm going to be after precision, constitution, and block value. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to create the standard 35s that I need, and I'm going to create those modifier bits using the junk loop that you see in front of me. So I use a handy website. It's called swgjunkyard.com. You can type in the modifier that you need. You can type in the loot that you have, find different combinations, reverse engineer them, and get the stats that you need. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do that now, and I'll be back with you here in a moment to create the rest of my suit. All right, so I'm back, and I've gone through, and I've sorted through my junk loot, and I have created all of the standard modifier bits that I need to create to finish creating my 35 suit. Now, you might be wondering why I have them sorted out like this in these various backpacks. It's just for me, I think it's a little bit easier to keep track of making sure that I don't accidentally use a higher order power bit when I shouldn't have done that so I can actually get my suit completed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through these backpacks one at a time, and I'm going to create my 35 suit. So we'll rinse and repeat, and this is with standard stats. So now I've got a precision attachment. I need my second order bit. I need to add block value to it. Create. Now it's got precision and block value on it. Now I can add a third order bit and add constitution. And there we go. That's what my standard 35 is going to look like. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to make eight more of these, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, so I have gone through and I have created every single standard power bit that I need to complete my 35 suit. The only one that I'm missing is going to be the one that goes on my weapon because I can't create that on my armor. I'm going to need a droid engineer. So I'm going to see if I can find a droid engineer to make that last one. But for now, I wanted to open this up and show you. I've got my exotic that'll go on my chest piece. And then there was that first power bit that I made. So here's all the other ones. And now I'm going to see if I can get a hold of a droid smith. So I will be back with you here in just a minute after I've found a droid smith to help me out. All right. So I was able to find a droid engineer who was able to help me out. And they created this weapon attachment for me. So I'm going to start here. And since it's an exotic and it'll go on my weapon here, I'm going to take this exotic attachment, put it on my acid launcher, and say yes. And so you're going to see now where it had a socket before, it's going to have eight block chance, two heavy weapon damage, and four healing potency. Now for those of you that are going to criticize me because this is not a cap weapon, it doesn't have built-in stats, I know, I understand, I cannot really afford a completely capped weapon right now, so this is just going to be my interim weapon, and when it comes time to get my final weapon, I'm going to go ahead and just make another exotic. It's not the end of the world. But now I want to take this exotic and put it on my chest piece, which is the final slot that you can put an exotic in. So there we go. Go ahead and combine it. And now I have block chance 11 instead of 3, since this one had built-in block chance, heavy weapon damage 2, and healing potency 4. And then I didn't do this on camera, but I already had this shirt with an exotic piece in it as well. And now I'm going to take my regular pieces here and I'm going to attach them to the remainder of my armor. So it's one attachment per piece of armor. I'm just going to go through and do them all. And then one for the shield generator. And there you go. Now. If you look at everything that I've got here, every single piece of my armor is going to have, as soon as it updates, it's taking a moment here, 35 constitution, 35 precision, and 35 block value. So if we go ahead and we now 
look at our stats, we have a significant amount of constitution. And the only thing I have right now are medic buffs. So granted, I am getting an additional 250 out of my medic buffs, I believe. Yeah. So take 250 away from that. And that's just going to be our base stats with these items equipped with my heroic jewelry and with no other buffs. So we're going to have a ton of health because each point of constitution translates to eight health. So that's going to do it for my quick overview of 35s. Basically, when it comes down to it, they're fairly easy to make. You just have to be very patient, have a lot of junk loot, have some armor lying around. And then you need nine pieces of the standard. Let me double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, you need nine, and then you need three exotics. So you've got your weapon, your shirt, and your chest piece. And that's really all there is to it. So make sure you have a good understanding of the stats that you want. I particularly on the commando, as you can see here, I favor block chance, healing potency, heavy weapon damage for the exotics, and I favor constitution precision at block value for the standard 35s. Now this is specifically for my PVE commando build. For my PVP build, I actually run a different suit, but I'll cover that in another video. So as always, I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.